This is the movie that I have been looking forward to almost, I would say as much as Spider-Man No Way Home. Okay. Uh, Just, and honestly, only because of the director. The director, yeah. Just what he did with the Guardians of the Galaxy, what were we talking about? James Gunn. Yes. So, The Suicide Squad dropped trailer number three. I think it's called Rain. Yeah, I believe so. And... We got so there was one big thing at the very beginning of this trailer that got a lot of people excited, but also Super pissed some people off. Super interesting, because you gotta. How does it fit in the uh, the timeline? And that is what pisses people yeah. off, especially because he said he's like, you know, I wish that I made the decisions. He's like, I loved Henry as Superman, but it is canon. So whatever Superman is, Superman now, it's this happened to that Superman. Oh, so they're not even talking about Henry Cavill. Yeah, but he's like, if it's Henry or if it's whoever they want to say is Superman now, just because he, I think he was saying as a blanket statement to keep himself out of drama. Okay. But he got a lot of flack for that. <laughs> so the line essentially though is, they're talking about Robert Dubois, which is Bloodsport. Mm-hmm. And I also looked at some of the interviews with him and we'll explain his like power set in a moment. Um, is in prison for putting... Superman into a coma for shooting him in the chest with a kryptonite bullet. Yep. I literally had to stop the trailer right there because I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was losing my damn mind because it was it was fantastic. It's something that I remember uh, do you ever watch um, Justice League Doom? The cartoon? Uh, no. Uh, so it's essentially like Batman has a contingency plan. It's also I think tied into like the whole kingdom come thing. Okay. But Batman has a contingency plan to basically take out every member of the justice league. In case they turn evil. Yeah. Um, and the thing is to shoot crypto, uh, Superman in the heart with a kryptonite bullet is his like way of getting him out. And Metallo ends up doing it. But I I do like this way that they're going with blood sport. The only thing that irritates me is they're pretty much literally giving him the exact same fucking story arc as Will Smith in Suicide Squad. That's that's what it looks like. I mean, it seems a little bit more nuanced because he's trying to get his daughter out of trouble. He's not trying to do this just to visit her. So, like, don't get me wrong, there's the differences. But the basis of it is you have a black anti-hero villain who will do anything for his daughter, so he joins the Suicide Squad. Yeah, which is crazy, too, because I um, I forgot Storm Reed was going to be in the movie. And you see her in this trailer, finally. He's playing her daughter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, forgot she was in this. Yeah. And, dude, they have a fantastic cast. Yeah. The one I am looking forward to the most is David Desmalchin, because we got to see a lot more from him in this trailer as well. Yeah. Actually excited and happy and that's not the, saying he wanted to kill himself. That's the first time you saw him excited in <laughs> yeah. these things. He's like, I'm a superhero. <laughs> yeah. Um... That, and I got another good line from John Cena too. Oh my god! So, we'll get, yeah. so there is a lot of uh, poop uh, jokes just in this trailer. Yeah. Um. So you have the initial Harley Quinn going in saying, "Sorry, I'm late. I had to go number two. I was like, "That's gonna make a lot of people look at her differently." Yeah. Um. Also, then you have Amanda Waller going like, "Uh, so you got your job is basically to go in and." Uh, infiltrate this project starfish thing and john, john cena says oh uh starfish is uh what do you say slang for a uh, butthole it, it, any connection any connections and it's just dead silence she's all no, no. <laughs> and he just writes it down <laughs> he's all okay no <laughs> yeah. uh his acting like i know a lot of people gave him a lot of shit during that fast nine thing where he said Sorry to China like 95 times. Yeah. And he like super simped. Mm-hmm. Um, he is a fantastic actor. Yeah, I, he's getting better. I actually think I like him more as an actor than I do as a wrestler. And he is a fantastic wrestler. I mean, there's all the memes where he's he's fairly boring and he's like does the same thing in every fucking match. Right. But I think his acting is like at this point eclipsed his WWE thing. Yeah, and he's only going to get bigger and his... His acting has gotten way better, and he is the best when he's in a comedy movie. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Oh, especially, like, Blockers was fantastic. Well, yeah, he was really good. Um, And honestly, dude, I felt like for a while there, uh, what's his name that directed Blockers? Is that a chick that directed Blockers? No. Yeah. It's uh the same dude who directed Knocked Up. Are you sure? I'm 95%. Because sure right. his wife's in it, too, Leslie Mann. 
Why? Uh, Judd Apatow. He, yes. I think he produced it, but he didn't direct it. Oh really? Because I thought he directed it. No 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 no. Dun, 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 dun. Make me right. No no no. Come on. Yeah, directed by K. Fuck Cannon. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, I know I know, he was on I know set. what I'm talking about. Either way, it was an Apatow production. Yeah, it was. So, but you can tell. Yeah, but I, I know there was a lot of stuff coming out from him saying like, "Dude, this dude is like effortless, like with his t- comedic timing," which is crazy. Yeah, especially for someone who, I mean, it, it actually does make sense though, because he used to literally freestyle rap his fucking insults and promos <laughs> yeah. back when he started when he was the bad guy in like, what was that like two thousand four? Two thousand four, because two thousand five is when he really got big, and that's when I. He was big. Yeah, it was insane. Like, yeah. I'll never forget growing up watching all of his stuff and like his first matches. Like his first match was against Kurt Angle in the WWE. Yeah, lives in my head rent free. It was fantastic. Yeah. Um, but to see his evolution, the same way you see three of the biggest actors right now: Dwayne Johnson, Batista, and then John Cena. Yep. All came from WWE. Actually, Batista came out this week and said he does not want to do any films with them. Really? Which I'm like, that's a pretty big thing to go out and say, especially because Dwayne Johnson is the highest grossing box office person. Yep. Period, right mm-hmm. now. That's ballsy. Yeah. But, I mean, he, he wants to very, do it on his own. He wants to be the artsy guy, too, so. Yeah, which he's good in those more nuanced roles, those more drawn back roles. Yeah. At least in Blade Runner 2049. Yeah. Um, And I'm Dune, I'm pretty sure he'll be that type of, type of guy, too. Oh, yeah. And he's fantastic in the Guardians films, obviously. Yeah. But. Um, other highlights from this, obviously you got your Harley Quinn. She's always Margot Robbie. That is one role she has down. Yeah. To a science. Yeah. It's, there wasn't a whole lot to it. I honestly do wish that she took the accent from, uh, Wolf of Wall Street because I watched it again this week. Yeah. That would have been excellent. It would have worked so much better than the high pitch thing she has. I mean, I get why she did it. You could still be high pitched, but do that accent. Yeah. A lot more heavily than what she does. Yeah. And, uh. To forget that other funny scene that involves Weasel when they're on the plane. Oh, that was fantastic. They're thinking he's a werewolf. He's like, what kind of dog is this? He's like, he looks, He's like, my money's on an Afghan dog. And she's like, you brought a werewolf onto the plane? He's like, you sat me next to a fucking werewolf? <laughs> and Rick Flag's like, calm down, he's a weasel, he's harmless. <laughs> well, he did kill 27 children. <laughs> he's like, well, not harmless. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah no. Um, he was fantastic. Didn't get a whole lot from King Shark in this one. No, just uh, when he's distracted by the bird. And thrown into the building by the star. Yeah. By Starro. By Starro. Um, I'm trying to think of who else was... So we, we got a good look at Flula Borg. Mm-hmm. Uh, he plays Javelin. Got a little bit of a better look at Mongal. Got a better look at Blackguard, which is Pete... Davison. Thank you. Um... And then we also got that Afghan dog line was from uh, TDK, which is Nathan Fillion. Yep. Um, so it's nice to know that they'll at least have lines. Yeah. But it automatically shows me that they're going to die right away. Except for maybe TDK. Right. And I'm excited that it's rated R, so we get to really see what James Gunn can do in a, like the comic book realm. Oh, 100%. I mean, especially with a little bit more free reign, because I think he has a lot more free reign in DC than he does in... Yeah, well, because they, they saw the success that he brought Marvel with the Guardians movies, so they're going to let him do what he wants. And, dude, honestly, like, as much as it sucks the way everything went down for him, if you think about this, we would have never gotten this movie if it wasn't for him getting, quote-unquote, canceled. Yep. So, or at least not at this good of a movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm excited all the way around. And I just don't know why Warner Brothers doesn't, like, learn from this and, like, let all their filmmakers, like do what they want they can't even keep the same fucking um owners for more than three years at a time I know. so which is kind of it's really weird how this one happened the way it did yeah it's kind of like an oddball uh, so hopefully the batman is the same way i'm getting my joker they let todd phillips do what he did he would do do what he want with that too so i mean yeah but i think that they felt like that wasn't a super big risk because a it was low budget and it wasn't connected and it was rated r yeah which, so they felt like they're not going to corrupt these kids' minds. Yeah, and hopefully, well, Batman's not connected, so we'll see what they let Matt Reeves do with it, but um, yes. hopefully it's all out. Yeah. That's one thing I do, I will say about Warner Brothers, is when they're starting something off, they're willing to take more risks, mm-hmm. but when they fuck up... They get reactionary. Very reactionary. 